Hello, BookTube. Um, I'm going to try to get through a book haul. Uh, a couple days ago, I did a paperback book haul. It's from the same same source, uh, book sale. And uh, this is, uh, there's a lot here. So I'll probably work through it fairly rapidly. If you have any questions about any of the books, you can just, you know, post it down below and I'll, I'll try to answer whatever questions you have. So let's get right into it. Um, first is a set of three books. This one is Thomas C. Mann and Janet Green, Sudden and Awful, America, American Epitaphs and the Finger of God. So living in New England here, we have a, uh, a lot of these very, very old graveyards. This one's, uh, the book's published by Stephen Green Press, Brattleboro, Vermont, 1968. So they're fun to read too, little epitaphs you find on uh, graves. And then right in the same set of books, Stranger Stop and Cast an Eye, A Guide to Gravestones and Gravestone Rubbing by G. Walker Jacobs. And this was, um, again, the Stephen Green Press, Brattleboro, Vermont. And this one is uh, from 1972-73, third edition. They seem like an odd little book, but to me it's fun. And then the third and final one in this set, I don't know if it's really a set, but they all look similar. Over Their Dead Bodies, Yankee Epitaphs in History. Uh, this one again, Thomas C. Mann and Janet Green. Um, and once again, the Stephen Green Press, Brattleboro, Vermont, in this case, 1962. sort of fun <coughs> and then this beautiful volume medieval England by Colin Platt Scribner's book this is a social history and archaeology from the conquest to 1600 AD by Colin Platt uh, Charles Scribner's and son New York in 1978 Really great illustrations throughout. Um, I just have had a chance to briefly look through it, and I'm very excited about it. Site plans. Uh, so we'll see how that one goes. Very excited about that book. Then I have a really odd little volume. Um, some of you may know about this. I didn't. I know who Gurdjieff is, but I had never seen this. All and Everything first series. Beelzebub's Tales to His Grandsons. Oddly shaped little thing. Look at very thick little. Has like an inset card with Gurdjieff on it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. E.P. Dutton and Company, New York. Um, this one came out in copyright 19. I can't tell if it's 30 or 50. I think it's 1950. Um, this edition published by E.P. Dutton and Company, Incorporated in 1964. So, we'll see what that, that's all about. Um, then, the Terrible Dust Jagger, a wonderful volume. Uh, collection of Voltaire. Um, the pages are really yellowed, so it was not done on very good paper. Uh, Voltaire, 16, 1694 to 1778. Collected works. The Complete Romances, including Candide and the Ignorant Philosopher, Greystone Press, New York. So it includes, uh, let's see, Zadig, or Fate, The Princess of Babylon, The White Bull, Candide, uh, The Hurons, or Pu Pupil of Nature, Micromegas, The Study of Nature, The Man of Forty Crowns, The Sage and the Atheist, The Philosophy of History, the Ignorant Philosopher, uh, Dialogues, and then Philosophical Criticisms. It's quite a volume. I, I wish it was better shape. Uh, the paper was better. Um, this Masterworks Library, had really some of the other authors I'd really love to run into here. They have uh, Stevenson, Scott, Shakespeare, Cooper, Browning, Plato, Turgenev. So yeah, sort of a neat little volume. We'll see how it goes. And, because I'm always collecting books about books, uh, Gutenberg. 
Uh, How One Man Mate Remade the World with Words by John Mann. And this was John Wiley and Sons Incorporated. And it's 2002. So this next one I'm familiar with. I've seen quite a bit. Uh, I've never read it myself. Jonathan Sumption's The Albigensian Crusade. Uh, beautiful cover. And this one is Faber and Faber, London and Boston. 1978. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I've seen that quite a few times around, as I say, but I've never had a chance to read it. This one is The Green Fairy Book, uh, edited by Andrew Lang. Nice copy. I mean, I've seen the Folio Society one on, on you, uh, BookTube quite a bit. Uh, the illustrations are by H.J. Ford. This is McGraw-Hill Book Company, New York. And uh, the original publication was 1892. Um, this one's date is hard to... Oh, 1966. I love the... It's great illustrations throughout this. And I've always wanted to read it, so I'll hopefully get to that pretty soon. Then this one's fun. Um, the Adventure of the Stalwart Companions, edited and annotated by H. Paul Jeffers. Heretofore, unpublished letters and papers concerning a singular collaboration between Theodore Roosevelt and Sherlock Holmes. So it's a non-Arthur Cannon Doyle Sherlock Holmes story. This is a Joan Kahn book, Harper and Row Publishers, New York, um, and this one came out in, uh, it's the first edition from 78. So these, these Sherlock Holmes stories like this are always, you know, you're taking a bit of a chance, but it's all right, it's fun. And this one's really fun. Uh, R.B. Dobson and J. Taylor. Rhymes of Robin Hood, an introduction to the English outlaw. A little, the dust jack's a little worse to wear for uh, sun damage. Uh, it's the University of Pittsburgh Press, and this came out in 1976. And they worked through the ballads. Good introductory material, good scholarly apparatus in it. And uh, always been a big Robin Hood fan. And let's see. Then... Uh, this is Carter Dixon's Fear is the Same, the author. Um, this one is William Morrill and Company, New York, 1956. Beautiful condition. And uh, I've never read any of his mysteries, whose uh, his real name is, uh, um, or one of them, I don't know, Carter Dixon's his real name, or John Dixon Carr. I'm not that much up to date on it, but. Uh, just had a friend show up here. It's a little mystery. Then, another exciting book for those of you who like fantasy art. There, go on there, baby. This is uh, Castles by Alan Lee, uh, written by David Day, designed and edited by David Larkin. And uh, I was real excited to find this. Bantam Books, Toronto, New York, London, Sydney, Auckland. Okay. So, uh, this was a Alan Lee that I wasn't familiar with, this book, so when I saw that, a lot of you will be familiar with his artwork. Oh, great, great find. I'll have to read through that. And this is another compendium, sort of like the Robin Hood, but this case, King Arthur. And this is the Arthurian Legends, an illustrated anthology selected and introduced by Richard Barber. And papers. So uh, this was published by Littlefield Adams and Company, and that was uh, 1979. So all these excerpts, like from the Death of Arthur, um, Geoffrey of Monmouth, here's Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. So got a lot of great illustrations. Um, maybe you can see that. It's, uh, Once a Future King, T.H. White. So it gets into some of the more modern retellings also. I had never seen this, uh, say, The Defense of Guinevere by William Morris. 
So this looks like a really fun book. Then, <clears throat> finally, this beautiful thing from National Geographic called The Letter and the Scroll, What, Archaeologist, what Archaeology Tells Us About the Bible. Robin Curie and Stephen G. Halsop. Typical National Geographic production, just absolutely gorgeous. Um, Washington, D.C., and this was uh, not always the easiest place to company to find the uh, updates on. Sometimes you have to look in the back. 2009. And as you can imagine, just incredibly illustrated. Maps. Nice find there. So, so that is a pretty decent uh, weekend book haul. Um, like I say, I did a paperback one earlier, which was heavy on fantasy. Um, some Tolkien and some of the uh, Bantam adult fantasy books. So these sort of go together. And uh, that's pretty much it. So thank you, BookTube.